Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll appreciate. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0, our podcast diving in with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you very much. You guys are the best, and may you stay blessed. I hope everyone is doing all right. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to the Gospel of Barnabas and the Laws of Moses. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Shalom and Salam Aleikum. Salam to all Mishpacha out there. I know it's been some challenging times and during these challenging times, all we can do is improvise. With that being said, uh, pardon the background, we've been having some issues and I've been trying to save the manuscript and save my studies of all these years and uh, that's why my, my wife asked for uh, help uh, monetarily so we can get this going so I can establish this uh, unity of brotherhood that Dawid, that King David talks about. Um, how wonderful it is when brothers, Barodar, they are together in unity, in oneness. Um, this is very important because as we are taught that uh, Hashem is one, that Golov Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yaleb Valam Yulad Valam Yakul Lahu Kofvan Ahad. The, the, the Hashem is one. Um, that one also includes two brothers coming in unity. If Ishmael is fighting with Ishach and Ishach is fighting with Ishmael, then that unity is disturbed and it splits into different theologies and religions and such. But when they come together, as Subhana Allah has told us, He has given the light, He has given Al Kitab, the book called the Torah, Torah and Quran. And of course we see also in Genesis, in Bereshit, that uh, the children, the children of the believers and the righteous are always saved by the Torah, even though the Torah starts being mentioned in Exodus. We know that it had existed. Many books have been written about it by scholars and we don't need to go far. We have books like Book of Jubilees, and they uh, they don't hint at it. They simply say that it existed. With that being said, uh, that was a very uh, long intro. I apologize. Let's get back to what has interested me lately, which is called the Gospel of Barnabas, written in Arabic. Yes, in Arabic, which uh, many do not like. Uh, I say tough. It's a beautiful language. It's a Semitic language. Get used to it and start learning from it because it has great manuscripts and truth in it. Now, with that being said, Gospel of Barnabas. Very interesting. This study is going to be the laws and Gospel of Barnabas. The laws of who? Musa, Moshe. Let's get to it. Bi'isma Allah al samo al Qazam. Allahu Samad and Allahu Karim. Shaulu Shalom, Yerushalam. For the sake of Yerushalam. For the sake of all the holy places that the Almighty has put into place. Let's get started with the laws mentioned of laws of Moses mentioned in Book of Barnabas. Let's get started. Let's go to paragraph 29. And it states. Allah gave Abraham the covenant of circumcision, and so our father Abraham knew Allah. And having said this, Jesus lifted up his hand, saying, To thee be honor, glory, O Allah. Sound familiar? Let's get going. Paragraph number 9. 
Jesus having come to the age of 12, meaning getting ready to become a man, went up with Miriam and Yosef to Jerusalem to worship there according to the laws of Allah written in the book of Moshe, of Moses, of Musa. Let's get going. That was paragraph 9. Let's get to paragraph 23. Readily and gladness they went to their death so as not to offend against the qanun, the laws of Allah, subhanahu Allah, given by Musa, his servant. Musa, Rasulullah, Musa. But they go and serve false lying gods. That's a warning. He says, here are the true believers and hear what they do. But they go and serve false and lying gods. Let's go back to the Torah, Hashem says, in Numbers 23, 19. For I am not a man that I should lie. So let me read this again from Gospel of Barnabas, paragraph 23. But they go and serve false and lying gods. Our God, our Allah, is a merciful Allah. He cannot be explained and he cannot be controlled. He creates and he destroys. But he creates love within that creation. And even in death, there is love. For the Almighty has pity on us. Why should I have to live 300 years and 400 years of aggravation in this world? I will take you out. 70 years is good for you. Any more than that is a blessing from Hashem. Let us not fight for that last 15 years. For it may come out not so good. Let us accept what Hashem has given us. It's something that even Rabbi Nachman talks about. And many Hasidim rabbis. The acceptance of Qanun of Hashem means the acceptance of the laws of Hashem means the acceptance of His action because He is the judge. If He has given us the laws, then that means His order of the law must be accepted. Even if it comes in tragedy, even if it comes in something that just breaks your heart, like a death in a family or death of a child. Rabbi Nachman was very familiar with this. That's why he said, Be joyful. Worship the Almighty. Be joyful. Worship Him in joy. Worship Him. That's why the Na-Nachmans, they, they, they have joy. Most of them that have not been polluted by the Zionist ideology do not disrespect other Jews, even though they have other ideas. They love them as Rabbi Nachman loved them. And let me tell you why. When Rabbi Nachman was sick, all the so-called Hasidim around him and the righteous rejected him. To uphold life. They rejected just to uphold life because they were so mad at him. But do you know who up, upheld their, upheld his writings, upheld his life? To reformed Jews. Yes, reformed Jews. You see? Good can come from any place of this universe. And for us to reject that good means that we are rejecting the Almighty. It has to be good, for Hashem says, and it was khub. And it was good. Baruch Hashem. Alhamdulillah. Shalom. I mean, I guess it's God through his servants was um, trying to put the message out there. Other than just putting the message out there, it's his word that he said, you know, speak this and see, don't force anyone who follows. If they, if they believe, let them believe. If they don't, they don't. At the end of the day, I feel like, um, I always say it's a personal choice, but then we're living in times that we can't afford to be ignorant. Don't just sit there and say, Okay, I'm watching this guy. He doesn't make sense. I'm not even interested in looking at whatever he's saying. Look into something. 
that's the only way you're going to find knowledge out there look into something for the believers i mean educate others that are out there educate them in a manner that they don't feel attacked pass on that message to the extent that they'll fall in love with it and want to hear more of what you have to talk about otherwise god will always be there for us god loves us god will give us many many chances and he sent down his laws rules or whatever you want to refer to them it's up to us to live according to the way god wants us to live or not and we know the repercussions of not following what god um god wants otherwise make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video